Hello YouTubes. Um, I apologize for my hair. It's awful. Um, this is my fourth installment of the top five for the week. Um, it is June 22nd and that leaves one more entry for next Friday um, for a top five for the month. And then we'll see uh, if I should continue doing it into July or not. We, that is yet to be determined. Um, next week is going to be a little hectic for me. I have Sunday through Wednesday off from work, but I have to go make housing arrangements for this next school year. Um, and I'll get to see friends and boyfriend and whatnot. So um, I have no idea how next week is going to go, but everything should work out and I should have my top five posted next Friday. Okay, um, jumping right into things as we enter one minute of the video. Uh, number one for my top five is T-Fury. T-Fury is an awesome website. Um, T-Fury.com, link in the doobly-doo. But um, they have t-shirts and you submit the ideas. Um, you, you submit the designs, essentially. And people vote on it and they pick one and they sell one shirt a day. Just, just one shirt. And that one shirt is $10 and shipping is like $275. Um, if you want it sooner, you can pay a little bit more, of course. The, the t-shirt is $10. $10 t-shirt. Awesome t-shirts. Oh my goodness, there's such a variety of nerdy, awesome, not all necessarily quote nerdy, but anyways, there's, there's a range of t-shirts. You just have to check it out, um, keep your eye out, get email alerts, whatever check out the t-shirt of the day because you might miss an amazing one. My first purchase on that site was this. Doctor Who, yes. Um, and I bought that Christmas of 2011. No, 2010. Yeah, 2010. Um, this is my second purchase. Another Doctor Who shirt. This was Christmas 2011. That's when this one was. Um, the first one was just all the doctors exploding out of the TARDIS. Um, this one is Doctor Whoville. Um, so it's like all the Who's in Whoville, but then the TARDIS in the middle instead of Christmas tree and then canines down here. <coughs> and my voice is doing something funny. And as a treat because I got myself a job this summer and all. Um, I had told myself that I was going to limit myself to one shirt from T-Fury a year, um, and I was like, usually it's wound up, you know, Christmas time, but anyways, um, unless I got a job, and then I would get two or three shirts a year from T-Fury. So since I got a job, um, I decided to get this shirt. Ugh. There, now you can see it all. Um, it is called, um, oh, what was the name? Oh, right. It's bigger on the outside, which Doctor Who fans know that the, there's the joke that it's, you know, it's bigger in the, on the inside, the TARDIS. But it's the Doctor looking out into the galaxy. So, uh, it's kind of bigger on the outside. But anyways, um, so that was my most recent T-Fury purchase. Um, like I said, $10 shirt, amazing. I ranted about T-Fury too much now, though. Okay, number two is A Way We Happened. It is a, um, YouTube web show thing. <laughs> um, I believe AT&T is, like, sponsoring it or something. Um, but anyways, it is by Wong Fu Productions. And I love those guys. They have some awesome videos. Um, they're, oh, they, they just always make me laugh. But anyways, um, it is a interactive somewhat um, web series because they aired the first video and then they had two questions at the end. And you went to the website and you submitted um, your answers to those questions um, about like what direction the video would take and then everyone votes on the submitted um, parts and then um, they like take the top 
picked one and they use that for the direction for the next video and it's done on a week by week basis um, I'm not sure how many videos they're doing total um, I want to say that they've done six episodes so far but anyways <clears throat> it's pretty uh, cool and there's a romance going on um, link down the doobly-doo be sure to check it out it's it's really cool um, even if you don't submit your own opinions it's still a really neat story um, number three another web series um, this is called VGHS VGHS just in case I said it a little too fast the first time stands for video game high school and um, it's by Freddie Wong and um, it's I, like you, you just need to watch it link down the doobly-doo um, it's about this kid who sort of like in a fluke um, kills this like top um, ranked video game player um, and so he gets invited to join this school and he just has a rough time because he got in because of the fluke and he's given such a hard time and this and that and just check it out it's, it's a really good web series um, each episode is about 10 minutes long I believe so check that out link down the doobly doo um, number four I was reminded of this band um, on Facebook yesterday because um, one of my Facebook friends posted a link to a YouTube video with lyrics and all for this um, for one particular song by this group but um, as soon as I saw the name I was like oh, I haven't listened to them in a while and that band is I Fight Dragons um, they have like the, their songs are pretty good um, at least the, the album that I have which I haven't listened to necessarily all of their music, but the album that I have um, that a friend of mine introduced me to, um, the like the songs have pretty neat messages, um, which you may not realize at first if you're not actually thinking about it. But anyways, um, but the songs are pretty neat. Um, it's got like that video game sounds in there for the music, and so it's really cool. There's probably a name for that, and I just don't know it. Ah, uh, well. But anyways, I Fight Dragons. They're pretty cool. Um, I'll link a song or two of theirs down below. Um, be sure to check them out. They're awesome. And last but not least, number five. I have to grab it. Ah! Number five is drawing tablets. Um, mine, if I can get the cord unwrapped, blah, 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 is a um, bamboo fun tablet. Bamboo fun? I think it was a bamboo craft. I don't know why it says bamboo fun on the back. Eh, anyways, um, I got this years ago. They have newer versions now that I'm sure look a lot higher tech, but you can't really see um, the quality of this video, but this is like perfect condition really. Like there's a few little black marks that I've gotten probably from rubbing it up against something. But I mean like it's it's durable unless you like I, I don't even know how you could ruin this. Um, I haven't even run the tip off of the pin. Like this is the same nib that came on it. Um, but anyways, um, it's by Wacom. Um, if you do or want to do any sort of drawing or even like photo manipulation on whether it be Photoshop or GIMP or um, Psy or any of the other um, art applications, um, programs, whatever, then these are really handy. Um, it even works as a mouse, like each point on this on this um, tablet corresponds to a spot on your um, computer screen. And so all I would have to do would be like hover over here and like the mouse point goes straight up to the to the right um, corner of your screen. I, I don't have to like 
drag and then drag and then drag to move the mouse. All I have to do is like go from here and then like that and the mouse automatically moves down there. It's awesome. Um, so it works great for, um, you know, using your mouse. Um, some games you can even use it on, like, because it works as a mouse. So rather than having to drag your, your mouse to move, you know, all you have to do is just boop and click and it, yeah, it's awesome. So drawing tablets are really cool. You should check them out. Um, I'm not sure how much they sell for now. I got mine on sale because they were coming out with a new version when um, I went to buy this. So um, I think probably the lowest you could get it one for would be maybe $50. Um, maybe a hundred. Mine was like a hundred originally and I got it on sale for like 60 or so. So that was awesome. But, um, anyways, um, also if you do graphic design stuff on the computer, handy, really handy. You should get one. Um, I named, I named this Yuki, by the way. I decided at one point to name my electronics, so I named it Yuki. I might do a video about that sometime. Just random tell you what my electronics are named. Anyways, um, that's my top five for the week. I have passed 11 minutes now and I thought I had been doing good on time. Whoops. Anyways, um, I will see you next Friday if not before and yeah, feel free to suggest top fives for me because I had difficulty thinking like there are things for me to pick. I just was having difficulty thinking of things to pick for my top five for this week. So feel free to give me some suggestions down below. All right. Hope you guys are good and well when you see my next video. Bye.